one's really empty. It's so sad. <laughs> look at you instead. I'll stand over here so you can look at me <laughs> and be looking at them. And I will also, well, when I look up to you, they know I'm talking to you. <laughs> you can stand up. Hi, everyone. It's Nona Grace. Today was my second to the last day of going to work, and I actually did my exit interview today. They have an exit interview for this place that I'm working. I have never done an exit interview before. And what they want to do is they want to touch on what you liked or disliked about your job, and would you recommend it to somebody else, and why are you moving? But they know I'm retiring, so they don't, they don't ask that question. That, that wasn't one of the questions. They skipped over that part of, you know, were you unhappy? Is that why you're changing jobs? So mine is just, I'm going to retire. Well, tomorrow being my last day, it's two girls' birthday tomorrow. So I want to give them each a gift to say thank you for... Um, they're great employees, and they're 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 great co-workers, I should say, because I'm not their boss. I used to be a boss at one time when I had my own daycare and I had employees, but they're great co-workers. One of them is a speech therapist, and she's the best. The kids love her to pieces. Even kids that don't want to talk will start talking. And the other young lady is the one that's going to be taking, I think, my position in the kitchen. She will be doing it. She's been helping me when I when I have to deliver the the break, the lunches. She used to help me with other details, but then they they changed it to where I was doing it by myself. But anyways, I wrapped their present. I want to show you. This is one of them for one of the girls. All I had was princess paper, so it was either princess paper or Christmas paper. So I did princess paper. I thought they might like it. That's one. And this is the other one. So they've got different bowls on it. And what's in here? I already told you yesterday what was in here, but I'll tell you again today. Because I know these girls don't watch my videos. They're eggs. I'm giving them some fresh eggs. I have them in the refrigerator. I had to take them out so that I could show you, but I'm going to put them back in. And the bowl that's on there? No push the camera to make it see it here right here there we go that bow that's on there that I made out of paper that you just fold you don't glue any parts of it except for when you're putting it together when you glue it onto the disc and I used hot glue to glue it onto the discs onto the discs but I folded the little little segments they're all just folded there's no glue there's no staple there's no paste there's no nothing. It's just folding and that's what holds it together. But anyways, I think they're very pretty. I have a lot of those that I've got that I've made um, but they're out of Christmas paper also because these bows could be used on Christmas paper most of the time when you're doing presents. It's either birthdays or Christmases that you're putting bows on things. So I made more of the Christmas ones than I actually did of the birthday or all occasion kind of, of bowls. My husband also sprinkled some wood chips that they had planed some wood at his work so he he sprinkled the wood chips so that when I lock the chickens in I'm not going to step in any mud because the ground with all the rain that we've had and the chickens they eat all of the grass and so there's a lot of mud area there that when you outside of the chicken run where they they, when they go in where the door is, there's um, it's kind of sloppy. So he put some wood chips down. So when I step on it, I won't be in any mud. I can put my boots on. But you know what? Every time I put my boots on, you know what runs through my brain? I keep thinking. A spider could have fallen in there in the night, and I would not know it until my foot is in there because I should tip them over and shake them out. I know in, um, I think it's in Brownsville, Texas, the guy's, they because they've got a lot of little scorpions around it they always check their shoe before they put it on because something could have crawled in it and I'm always afraid there might be a spider in it talk about spiders I killed a spider at work the other day it was one of those big old they're sort of like the barn spiders they're they're like they're like this big they're horrible and they've got a lot of the big long ugly legs well he was in the drinking fountain 
And the girls come out into my room and they said, who's brave enough to kill a spider? And I'm thinking, it's just probably a little daddy long leg or something. I get in there and here's this big old barn spider. So I said, well, I can kill it. And they, they were moving way back because they didn't, they, in case I didn't get it. I said, don't worry, I'm not gonna miss. And so what I did is I filled a pan of water and I poured it into the drinking fountain sink. But first of all, I went and got a fly swatter. You gotta have a fly swatter. And the one room has a fly swatter. So I went and got the fly swatter and I moved everything away off the counter. So if in case he got out, he was gonna, he would run underneath something and I didn't want that to happen. So I filled the bowl with water, poured the water into the drinking fountain. And while he was shriveled up like this, I took the fly swatter and put it over top and he's starting to come to life and there was a round thing there and I, I squished it. Yeah. And then I said, I can't pick it up because I really don't like touching these spiders. They're really ugly. So I kind of scooched it onto the fly swatter and I put it in their wastebasket, but I put it in the lower part of the wastebasket so that nobody would, when they throw something away, weren't afraid that they were going to see the spider. And then I washed the fly swatter off and I went back and put it back in the room that it was. That was the excitement of the other day. And when I killed the spider, the girls say, well, you can't retire now because who's going to kill our spiders? Well, I'm sure somebody will. But they also said that um, they're going to FaceTime me if they need questions, which I can FaceTime if they have questions that they want to ask me. And also, uh, two other girls, they're doing, they're doing this um, weight. They're trying to watch their weight, but they're not doing keto. They're doing the 21-day fix which has got the measuring, I think it's, it's, got the, it's got these measuring things. This is one of the papers I copied it off that she has. And it's got the little containers that they decide how much they can have and, and that's what they're doing. So they said to me, they said, since you're gonna be retired, you'll have all the kinds of time, you might as well food prep for us. And I said, no, I'm not gonna be doing that. They eat things that I don't eat, and I don't want to. Eat. I wouldn't even, I, no, no, I'm not going to do what I said. <laughs> My husband's rubbing his eyes. He's very tired, I can tell. I hope you enjoyed the little motorcycle ride thing that we did, that he, that I put together, but he did the ride. I didn't get to go on that ride. I was at work when he went, and, um, but I put the video together for it, and I appreciated his getting me uh, footage. He got me hours of footage and I brought it down to, my whole video was I think six minutes long total. And um, that was hard to do. And the music was in the Royal Free YouTube music. Somebody mentioned that they thought it was from like um, Bugs Bunny cartoons or something or I don't know what, I, I, don't, I didn't watch many, I didn't watch Bugs Bunny very much. I, my favorite cartoon was Betty Boop's. Betty Boops and Mighty Mouse. Those were my favorite cartoons. I don't know if you remember them or not, but they were the best. And when I watch Betty Boop today, I'm thinking, my goodness. There was, a, there was always a, a lesson to be learned, but boy, the person on the end of that lesson never had, they would get a boot in the butt or something. It was not a nice cartoon, but I guess we could tolerate on kind things when I was younger, whereas they won't let the kids see a lot of unkind stuff today because they think they're too fragile. Well, maybe they are fragile. I don't know. But that's it for today, and I will talk to you again tomorrow. So have a great evening or morning, whichever it is, and I will see you then. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody. Bye, Jim. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>